Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 91 of Ocean Block. And in today's episode, we're gonna make the empowered sluice because uh, I'm redoing my whole sluicing system. So um, let's get to it. Uh, first of all, I think I have all of the ingredients necessary to make the sluice. Um, so it's done in the fusion crafting core for draconic evolution. Uh, it takes four blaze mesh, two netherite ingots, a lava bucket, and a netherite sluice. Um, and I believe we have everything. We've got our lava. Um, there we go. Got the netherite, the blaze mesh. I feel like I'm forgetting something. No, no, that's it. So let's go uh, see what this is about. I've never made an empowered sluice before, um, but let's see. These we can set up to do stack mode. Boop. Do the same thing with the blaze meshes. Um, I need an empty hand. We can do stack mode, stack mode, stack mode, stack mode. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. And then the lava buckets we're going to have to do one at a time. So that's going to be stinky, but we should be able to just put that in there and change out the buckets. Oh, look how fast this is going. Yes. <laughs> this is good. Awesome. Empowered loose. So now we take our bucket out. Put a new bucket in and hit craft again. Oh yeah. Oh, this is like my whole system in my inventory. It's tore up. I have nothing coming in. <laughs> I have nothing coming in. I don't know what to do. What do you stack? Awesome. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna have to make the mesh too. Um, so I don't know what those take. Let's see. Mesh. Oh, that's that's an infusion crafting too. Uh, mana infused string. Saw, oh, something I did in between episodes um, is I upgraded one of the power pots to Mark III. I just wanted to see what it was like. Um, I don't think it's actually working to full capacity um, because it's not getting enough power. I just I didn't upgrade the power system. So I think it's actually taking it longer than the previous tier to grow, uh, but it should produce more still. Um, oh, so, oh, look, it's showing my bucket over there still. Nice. We got the empowered sluice. Okay, so I didn't even look at the mesh. Let's put the mesh up there. Um. So we're gonna need string, so let's go to the string. Oh, sometimes it is just so loud. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, 
Okay, so if we need five of these guys, that means we're going to need 20 screen. Um, oh, look. I need those two. Oh, I wonder. I just used like a whole bunch of blaze rods. Uh, I made them up in the multi servo press. Um, like five or six stacks of blaze powder. Uh, so I don't know if I have all... Uh -oh. Stupid phantoms! Leave me alone! I know I could kill them, but that takes just as long because I don't have my weapon out. Uh, I really should... I can really bring it out because I have room on my hotbar now. Uh, so I think I do that. I think I do that. I can get my bow out and my sword. I know I did that backwards, but it's okay. Um, two, I could put like sharpness on this and make it even more. Oh, I keep I have put those away and I forgot that I, I wanted to work on them. Oh! I don't need no work. Um, this thing's full. Now this one could use it, but I think um, for the guy I fight, I probably use my bow most of the time. Except for when I'm fighting little guys, and then the sword will just chew those guys up. Uh, but I could probably use the, the bow to shoot them from where I stand. I don't know. Oh no, I got an egg. Okay, where were we? We were at Batania. Um, getting stream. away. Um, let's just, so we need 20. There we go. And boop. awesome. So I believe we need 20 boys for us to do we got them. I need to make more. Oh, just barely. Just barely. <laughs> we got one left. Got one left. Um, and these I can put into stacks as well. This ought to be pretty easy. go back into Arcanic Evolution and let's see, we put you, oh, oh no, can I get you back? Aha, okay, you're in stack mode, you're in stack mode. Stack mode. I need all of you to be in stack mode this time. Yes. Okay, I, I also need to make sure these are in stack mode. recipe blaze rod oh it takes the diamond mesh oh no I need a diamond mesh okay that's fine um, oh, I don't have access to it in here let's just bop out real quick and make the diamond mesh 
got it over here. Get one more. Pop back in. There we go. Nice. Oh yeah. This isn't a bad one either. It goes pretty fast. I also want to make sure I have both pulverizers with speed upgrades and I need two more speed, uh, speed tube add-ons um, for the material stonework factories. Um, I think I might make two of these fortune upgrades and just put two in each machine. That sounds like a good plan. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> I have no idea what, what this is going to do. Uh, oh, but we finished the empowered sluice quest as well. machine brain. I love it. <laughs> that. Oh, and it gave us three. Oh, <laughs> that is a really good one. I, I will definitely not complain about that. Uh, so sweet. Oh, three supreme machine frames. Oh yeah. Okay, so we have our blazing mesh and our empowered sluice. Um, I still have like the aqueous setup in there. So, um, yeah. Let's see how hard these fortune upgrades are to make. See if we can make two more real quick. Um, let's just do this. R. Oh, that's not bad at all. Okay, so problem solved. We got those. These are going to um, take latex, which I knew I was going to need, so I turned off this doodad to build up some latex. Because I believe it takes uh, a thousand. Oh, I only need one bucket. Let's just get one bucket. And I'll just. Boop, 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 boop. And that was the hardest part. I really need to automate this. I think I will once I uh, I want to redo this. Um, maybe put it uh, get some more because it's pretty slow. Um, just with just the two. Um, so what I might do is I might put this in the dense uh, construction block area because I'm utilizing very little of that uh, compact machine. Uh, so I could set up more of these in there to increase production for plastic. Because uh, that's going to be one of our, our holdups. If you look, I've been working on getting those singularities automated. And check this out. Oh, look at all of them. Um, Ah, oh, the Terra Steel Nugget one, that was pretty easy. It's still working on the Supreme Coal Singularity. Um, because it's just eating all the Supreme as it comes in. And I got something eating all my redstone. I have like a massive <laughs> redstone outage. I have no idea where it's going because I didn't make the, uh, I didn't finish making the, the Wyvern. Uh, energy controller. Uh, I 
still got like 500 of them. Uh, so I, I, ne I still need a thousand of them. And that's going to take all my redstone and I can't, I don't know where it's at. <laughs> I don't know where it's going. Um, but I, I do know that when I took my uh, redstone out of, it's over here, <laughs> out of the drawer system, I lost the ability to have blocks. So my blocks of redstone in my reactors kind of went low. So I think that's what uh, was chewing it up uh, because it hadn't been making uh, the blocks to put in there. So, yeah. Um, oh, wow. Completely derailed my thoughts. Um, I want to go ahead and set this one up uh, as well because, I mean, I know I don't have that, that yet. Um, but look at this. We got 1.2k. <laughs> I watched a video the other day of a guy who did this with chiseled bits of water. Um, I guess there's some sort of glitch or feature <laughs> uh, that allows you to very quickly take the bits out and eat them with the uh, doodads, with the matter condensers, um, so you can really, I mean, we had maybe 16 uh, matter condensers all being fed by like um, one chisel bit tank um, and one aqueous feeding the chisel bit tank um, so I don't know I mean what I'm doing is working it's just gonna take uh, I haven't messed with chisel bits and that's kind of cheesy but um, I think I'll just keep doing the cobble gens because it's fun <laughs> and I'm weird uh, but yeah if I get desperate I might look at upgrading um, some of those things So we were making add-on speed tier 2, and we need the rest of the stuff. We have the latex now, so we need some redstone, glass panes, sugar, diamond gears. Redstone. Oh, grab that out. <laughs> we got four. Oh my god. Okay, uh, glass. Sugar, sugs, sugza, um, I don't think I have a recipe for a diamond gear. I need to make one, I guess. just be able to zip that in there. Why do I get an extra glass paint? I don't know. Awesome. Whoa! It's looking good. We're getting stuff done. Um, I'd also like uh, I don't I want 
this to just go as fast as possible. So let's see about the flux. The flux. Can I make them? No, I only need I only need six. Ah, redstone. short the redstone. I don't know what's eating it. Um, I even went up into my botan botany garden here. Went all the way to the top floor and I bought these. All of them. But now I don't have uh, my sims is running. Oops. So this is like my only redstone. Okay. Um. Let's try to get it real quick. <laughs> we got it. We got it. We got it. Okay. So that's for two pulverizers. That's for power. Um, I do want to get away from the drawers. So we'll figure something out. What if I were to just make one of uh, the storage blocks and put everything in it? That way, if one thing backs up, it will back the whole thing up. Oh. I don't know if that's very desirable. Um, I don't know, maybe I uh, will. I think if I have a drawer controller, as long as it's not hooked up to the system, I think it should be okay. This could be a totally contained system that the, the cobble and uh, gravel and stuff like that, I don't actually want going into the system. I just want it to get sluiced. <laughs> uh, then go into the system. So I guess I could get a controller. Do I don't have that automated? I think I do have control control slave. That's what we want. We can control click our oh dang it ain't all of that already. are only supposed to be 32, but I don't know. It's eating it somewhere. It's eating it. Uh, I, st I still have 76 hours on here. Mm -hmm. So that will cut down on 
a little bit of the confusion and get that in there. And I think, uh, yeah, we can start getting this back up. Um, oh, look. I had an extra one in here. What? <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Let's just get these. Uh, that should work. Put two on the side. And since I have, oh, actually, whoa, those are very easy to break. Um, let's turn them around this way. way we could just put interfaces and uh, yeah and then we could go directly in so we can just get our cable out put this and I believe I have some interfaces already made up so I tried to use the interface for the quantum compressor but it didn't it didn't work out the way I wanted it to so I had to uh, do something else and now we can access all our goodies in here okay we don't need the the ender chest because this should uh, automatically go into the system now with our little network receiver. Ooh. Oh, it looks so cool! And now um, we can let's do this. We can get the water hooked back up. the other day and uh, I can hear my cat snoring in the background <laughs> she, not, she her bed is like really close to the microphone so it's it's really cute if you want to listen to a cat snoring <laughs> just watch my videos <laughs> oh. okay um that should be good we need the French to output this Uh, oh, look, it's got water, so it's already configured correctly. There we go. So water completed. Uh, now we need power and items. So we could do power from the back, I guess. And then items from the top. And just have it come over like that. This is only going to be that, okay. Um, I guess I'm getting ahead of myself because I haven't set up any of the automation. Oh, and we need to put, put all our little doodads in there. That way we get extra, we get extra stuff, extra 
your stuff is good. Awesome. Okay, so that's ready. Now we need... Uh, exporters. I could just have it um, like I might not even need a drawer controller. Uh, but I do want power to come in through the back, so let's get that set up uh, over here. One little power system for you. Now this might need more power. Which one is it going into first? The middle one. Awesome. Uh, so that's getting ready. Now we need to set up the production and the feeding in of everything. Um, now I wonder what kind of stuff is going to come out of here. I guess I'll think, oh, I could have made all of those importers. No, I don't need to because I think this, this imports goes directly into the system. Um, sweet. Uh, now how do I want these guys set up? Do I want them on top? I can even like scooch that over a couple. It's not in the middle. Or I could scooch this over a couple. Either way. It's fine. We got plenty of room in here. Um, I could... Uh-oh. I guess I would... If I'm not going to have this go into the system, then the hopper would probably be the best way to insert, maybe? Maybe? Let's get our hoppers back out. to be a little bit taller. Um, so what I might do is tear this whole thing down so I can come up here. Uh-oh. What'd I do? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> At least I can uh, put that stuff in there. system. Haha! <laughs> That's good to know. Okay. Alright, let's get this stuff done. Um,
So I'd like to a drawer. What's what's this drawer? Let's see what's in our drawers. Okay, for starters, we don't need um, either one of those. I, as long as I do the gravel in the material stonework factory, I shouldn't get flint. So I should be able to use this one as right there. And then another gravel. Want sand in the middle. And then dust on this end. Okay. I think if I had, uh, like for the dust, it's going to need to be the pulverizer here on this one. Pulverizer on that one. I don't need the third pulverizer though. Um, this one, we can just have the material stonework factory. Those will directly produce, see we could even get this one going, crushing, wow that seems really loud, uh, let's see, we want to just, I think if I just right click that will disable it. Um, so yeah, then we want the blue one to just output to the bottom. And then that would feed directly into there. And we could put a little, no, I don't want you in there. A little doodad in there. And then this one gets uh, to the same. Because uh, it's going to have the producing gravel. Because we had two producing gravel. We do the same stuff. And then uh, push to the bottom. And I also need a drawer. Do we have any drawers made? There we go. That is perfect. Um, I have zero gravel in there, but I know I have gravel here. Oh, <laughs> I had a little bit of gravel in there. So let's do this so things don't get wonky. Lock it. Oh, look, it's already trying to do the thing. Why isn't it? I mean, it's got a mesh, it's got power, it's got water. Oh, it doesn't, it hasn't filled up yet. Because it's doing these first. I see. Now, does it say. takes it a while to uh, set up. So we got this one good. Uh, we need to set up this one for sand, which would just be uh, two of these. And then no 
full action. And then we gotta shut down uh, the first two because we don't want it to uh, throw out any of the gravel. We only want it to send out the sand to the bottom. And then that should that should be good for that. We can put a little upgrade in there. Awesome. Um, oh, hey, look at you. Yeah, configurations need to go. Okay. Um, uh, so we need another drawer. This. look at the mesh. mesh. Okay, it will work for sand. Connecting to the inventory, could I do something like this? Um, to call my gravel. Can I tell it to keep the gravel in there? Did that work? No. Okay. Maybe if I put the let's get more gravel. Maybe if I left that in there, it wouldn't take it out automatically. No, oh, it's just taking the gravel out. Crazy. Um, okay, we might have to go back to Ender Chest. Wish there was a way I could tell it to blacklist <laughs> the gravel. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, it's got to have a lava as a fluid. I see. No more um, water. I get it now. I get it. So it only works for sand and it only works for gravel. It doesn't work for dust. Just gotta have lava. Just gotta have lava. All right, well, that makes this. Um, I guess I'll have to pick those up and break them. Okay, so the interfaces are okay. It's not the interfaces that are working. Um, I need to pick those up. And then get rid of our water in here. We need that. Okay, um, we still will need these so we need to get lava into them. And actually, maybe I'll just do... Because um, we have lava in our system. Lots of lava. Um, so we should be able to just get an exporter. Uh, we do need to configure these to take fluids and lava. Fluid, lava. Fluid, and lava. Fluid, and lava. There we go. Fluid, and lava. I want this to work. Uh, we need one more cable. So if I throw you in here now, you should work. Oh, now 
just gotta start filling up all over again. Oh. Okay, but now that we got the lava part fixed, it should work. And we can finish um, by putting our two other stonework factories here. And this is going to produce sand. Send it into the pulverizer and make dust. So I also need dust. Dust. Oh, we actually have a little bit. Sweet. And I got an extra material stonework factory. No, no, no. <laughs> Gotta have my key first. Okay. Let's put you in and lock you. <laughs> nice. I like it. Um, so I uh, will reconfigure these guys, get them power. Everything needs to get power. I can probably just do it from the top. So I'll configure all of these, get all their upgrades in, uh, put the water and the lava in, uh, get it going so that we can have more redstone hopefully. This should double our redstone. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome! Um, yeah, so... hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did leave a comment i'd love to hear from you uh, anyway thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye, -bye.